Know this, my darling daughter, that though we are separated by the veil of mortality, my love for you knows no bounds. Take solace in the knowledge that one day, when your journey in this realm has reached its end, we shall be reunited once more. Embrace your destiny, my dear Willow, for the gods have carved a path for you, though its twists and turns remain veiled in mystery. Walk it with courage and conviction, for you are destined for greatness beyond imagining. We love you always and forever. Goodbye, my sweet Willow. Destiny awaits you. Now wake up! Ah! Ouch! That really hurt. Oh. Ugh. Must have fallen asleep on the chair. Oh, son of a bitch. Was that really mother in my dream? Or am I hallucinating? Up we get. Ugh. That's better. Probably just exhausted. I should just get myself into bed. Paid bloody good coin for this bed. Oh, yeah, that's way more comfy. If that truly was Mother, I wish I could have told her how much I loved her. That dream felt so real. Mother was the one that summoned the spirit guardian then. We'll need to look into that more tomorrow. This is so a tired. One of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Oh, oh, for the love of Talos. This guy is really taking the piss now. He hasn't stopped all fucking night. How the hell am I supposed to sleep? Gonna shove it up his ass. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red. Ah! Maiden Matilda Shut up! Said. Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink and Ugh. you feed. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. And so I think my ears might be bleeding. Ah, huh. what a crappy night's sleep. Um, what's all this about? You awaken from your slumber, dazed. Something about a water skin. A chill in the air. Things will be different from here on out. Do I want to continue? Um, I guess so. My head is so foggy, feels like I haven't really slept. That was a waste of coin. How can anyone get to sleep with all that racket going on? He's still at it now, banging away on a fucking drum first thing in the morning. No consideration whatsoever. Forget him for now. Need a plan for the day ahead. Try and get a weapon, see if I can sell my old clothes, then head to Whiterun. Should keep an eye out for any more of those crystals too. Not heard anything more from the Spirit Guardian chap since I told him to fuck off. Now I know Mother is the one responsible for him, it, whatever. I should try and talk with them. Need all the damn help I can get. I need to get out of here, so sick of the noise. Ugh, I'm so pissed off with that guy. He owes me ten coins, never staying here again. Where the hell is he? Ah, over there. Gonna give him a piece of my mind. Hand maybe shove that loot up his arse. Yeah, yeah, well done, mate. Keeping me awake all fucking night. You're amazing. Do you just have zero consideration Fain for Bell thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Oh, just interrupt me, why don't you? It's fine. This guy is really pissing me off. Hello, Mom. Can we help you at all? Yeah, walk away. You said something about Fred and you liking the same girl? Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Yeah, I'm sure he's just there to exchange goods. If you know what I mean. You should probably just give up. Is that sarcasm? I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Ah, still you have a point. Camilla letting Feindel visit her isn't a good thing for me. Here, let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Say it's from Feindel. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. He really is a piece of shit, isn't he? I can't let that lady be tricked by this ball bag. Ah, sure, why not? This ought to be amusing. That letter ought to convince Camilla to never speak to Feindel ever again. 
I will hand deliver it now, my liege. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm out of here. He just doesn't quit. <sighs> Need some peace and quiet, some fresh air. I'm so done with this place. That's better. Can hear myself think. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Huh? Really? Let's see. Here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Bloody hell, that's a lot of letters. I'll have to find a quiet spot at some point to try and get through them all. Skyrim's couriers sure are pretty phenomenal. I've only been in Skyrim a day and they managed to find me. What the hell is that sound? What the fuck is that? Thank you for your service, courier. Or should I say sorcerer of the dark arts? How'd they find me? I mean, really? Now where the hell was the noise coming from? Came out here for a bit of peace from that barred arsehole. Not more noisy headaches. Whatever that noise was seems to have stopped now. Very odd. Let's see what that ball bag put in the letter to Carol. Or whatever her name was. Dear Camilla, I know I have called upon you at your house many times. And while we may be growing close, I need you to put any desires you may have for me aside. I am a true-born son of Valenwood, and I could never befoul my bloodline by courting an Imperial. I hope we can remain true friends, provided you understand your people's place in the Ald Mary Dominion, and respect me as such. Sincerely, Feindal. What a piece of shit that Sven guy is. Someone do something! Huh? What's going on? Fuck! Are we under attack or something? We are routed! Fall back! Literally no idea what happened. Whatever it was, things seem to have calmed down again now. You all right, sir? Yeah, damn wolves. Don't worry, miss, they've been dealt with. Wolves? That kind of explains the sounds from earlier. Most fucked up wolf I ever heard. Ah, yup, there it is. Might have been the same one that took a chunk out my arse cheek last night. Ooh, free pelt. Don't mind if I... Ah, oh, shit. I mean, well done, my good man. Slaying the beast and saving the town. Bravo. Fuck. I hope he didn't hear me. Right. Let's go see the blacksmith, see what weapons he's selling and what the damage would be to my purse. Hopefully he has something on the cheaper side, maybe. Might be able to sell him my old clothes. If he's into that sort of thing, you know. Oh, I really hope I can afford something. Anything, really. I mean, if I could get a bow, at least I could try and hunt things. Sell the pelts like that dude does we met last night. Shit, I guess even a pair of tongs would be better than nothing right now. I've literally no protection other than ghost. Alvor's blacksmithing. Looks like I'm in the right place. Good day, big man. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. What can you tell me about the place? Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters. A few generations ago, she and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Sounds like good honest work. I like it. Um... Look, I don't have much coin, but can I see what you have on offer? The finest weapons and armor. Fuck me! 4,455 coins? Holy crap! Yeah, if only! 
Even the hunting bow is way too much. Shit. Ugh. I can't even afford a dagger. I'm so damn broke. Doesn't look like he's interested in buying my clothes either. Bugger. Great, now what? Ah, look kind, sir. I'm broke. Is there anything I could do to earn a weapon? Any weapon is fine. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Ah, I haven't ever done this before. What am I supposed to do? Do I just yank this big rope over here or something? Oh, yep! A dagger. A dagger. There it is. Ooh, a bow. Wonder how pissed he would get if I just made a bow instead. Just kidding. That's a decent weapon you've made there. Thanks, kind sir. Quite proud of myself, actually. I made a dagger. Whatever you need. Here you go. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Sharpen it up? Sounds good to me. Um, so what do I do now? You're supposed to be teaching me, my good man. No, you were supposed to help and earn yourself a weapon. What use are you to me if you can't even sharpen a blade? What? I never said I knew how to blacksmith. I just offered to help out to earn myself a weapon. I do still have the materials you gave me, don't I? Can't be that hard. Let me try again. I really need a weapon. Ah! Oh, I can't fucking do it! Oh, skill issue! Hmm. Well, that sucks. Guess it's harder than it looks. You looking for a new blade? You taking the piss, mate? Look, I'm sorry. Good, sir. Can I please keep the iron dagger? I'm desperate. I'll come back and pay when I have more coin, I promise. Please? All right, then. Really? Hot! Huh? You're a scholar and a gentleman. You are my hero, good sir. If you don't come back and pay within one week, I will break your legs next time I see you. I can promise you that. Shit! Yeah, no worries. I will be back with the coin. Just chill. Ah, Wolf Slayer. How's the arm? What do you think, you fucking idiot? Wow. Everyone is so friendly round here. What the fuck did I do, huh? Fuck me, right? Okay, off to the traders, see if that Lady Carol is there. I mean Camilla, damn it. Tell her about that Sven guy. Hopefully I can sell my old clothes there too. I'm so desperate for some coin. Well, one of us has to do something. I said hello, no. Hello. no. Looks like I walked no in on a domestic. Theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> A customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. No problem, my good man. Um, hi, you must be Carol, right? Oh shit, I mean Camilla. No, I don't want to cook, damn it. Me lady, you okay? Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. Sure, I'll try. But first I need to tell you something. Sven forged a letter from Feindel. Here. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Oh my. He... He wanted me to think Fandal wrote this? Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Fandal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. You're welcome, m'lady. Mm -hmm. But I don't really have time to see your boyfriend. Need to get to Whiterun. Good, sir. Well, Fucking hell, and what the hell was that? The Riverwood Traders. Gave me a still heart open. attack. Feel free to shop. What do you have for sale, my good man? Take a look. Mmm. This guy looks like he might be into women's clothes. Wonder if he will buy them. Knew it. They're top quality clothes, my good man. Thanks for the purchase. Are your weapons any cheaper than the blacksmith's? 127 coin, not bad. Still can't afford this, though. Meh. No idea how to fish, although that might be useful. Maybe later on. Looks like this is the only sharp thing I can afford, for fuck's sake.
Damn, dude. Your potions are really pricey. I should definitely try and get better at making these. So much money to make. Guess I'll just grab something to eat. Can't afford anything else. Any spell books? All out of my price range, unfortunately. Might as well get rid of those blacksmith materials. Apparently I'm the worst blacksmith in the world anyways. Okay, thanks. The arguing when I first entered, did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. That's pretty shitty. Sorry to hear that. If there's a reward, I'd be happy to try and help in some way. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northwest of town. Whoa, so now! this is your plan, what? Lucan? Huh? Yes. So What's going on? Have to go, I thought I'd you? be helping out by handing oh, really? flyers out well, or something. I think your new helper here needs Even to the name of the place sounds well, evil. No, I... Um, guys, hello? Eight. Fine, but only to the edge of town. What the hell just happened? What the fuck did I just sign up for? Ain't no way I'm going to any Bleak Falls Barrow. Crazy bastards. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Look, Carol, I ain't going there, milady. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Yeah, you're really not selling it to me. It's bloody pissing it down. Just gotta pretend I'm taking the job, then book it to Whiterun. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. Wow, you walk fast, lady. This must be the way out of Riverwood, the way to Whiterun. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. How do I avoid this place? Oh, I mean, find this place exactly? Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. You'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower. Once you get to the tower, head north. Bleak Falls Barrow should be just around the corner further up. Good to know, thanks. Ah, you should go back to the shop. You're soaked. Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. Great, I shall see you very soon. Yeah, very soon. Honest. Like fuck, I'm going anywhere near that place. Just need her to walk a little further away so she doesn't see me leg it in the other direction. Ugh, this rain. Need to get to Whiterun. Okay, thanks to Carol and her speed walking. It means she's pretty far away now. I really hope there's someone in Whiterun that knew my father. I'm going to be so disappointed if there isn't. Literally no idea what I'll do. Need to try and remain positive. There's still hope. I guess Whiterun is the path off to the right, based on what Carol told me about Bleak Falls Barrow. 
Yep, finally. A sign for White Run. I hope I am strong enough one day to take on a bunch of bandits hiding in a creepy crypt. But today is not that day, my dear Carol. Which is a shame, as I really could have done with the reward. Oh, Riverwood. Beautiful. Even in the pissing rain. I'll be back one day, Riverwood. Don't miss me too much. Kinda don't have much choice now. Need to pay the blacksmith back, otherwise he'll break my legs. And he's a big bloke. Should try some of these ingredients I've been picking up. Need to learn what they do. Ugh, I really hate this bit. Ugh, fucking gross. Damn, probably best not to do them all in one go like that. That was awful. Been a while since I swung a blade of any sort. Should give it a quick go. Let's give Ghost a run out too. Whoa, that mud crab just exploded. Yes, good boy Ghost. You sure taught that mud crab, didn't you? And slice. And stab. Okay, still have the gist of it. I agree, Ghost. I'm not too bad with a dagger, am I? I'd rather a sword or an axe, but beggars can't be choosers. A dagger is better than nothing. I should probably test my dagger skills on something small. Ow! Oh, little shit! Nipped me! I don't know what I was expecting, really. Easier than I thought. Still managed to pinch me, though. Little bitch! Ha! Huh? Oh, yeah, forgot about that. See you in a bit, ghost. He's a good boy. What's this? Free food? Ah, no. Just part of the mud crab that exploded earlier. Wow! Geez, this place looks huge! Very impressive. Yeah, I could definitely see me living somewhere like this one day. Looks like there's a sign outside. Bulgruff the Greater, Jarl of Whiterun, invites any and all law-abiding residents of Skyrim to purchase the recently renovated Riverfall Cottage for the price of 15,000 gold coins. 15,000 gold coins! Jeez! Free food? Thanking you. Another dead animal? Oh, what's this? Looks like I'm thirstier than I thought. Debuffs, blah blah blah. Yeah, I get it. Have a drink. Get rid of the debuff. <clears throat> Jug of water. That should do it. Shut up, ghost. Oh, wait. Ghost isn't summoned, though. Dead elk, dead rabbit, howling. Yeah, pretty sure some wolves are close by. Best be on standby, just in case. I think we're being watched. Stay alert, ghost. Ugh, why do I keep step dodging? Need to stop doing that! Holy shit! Ah, where did he come from? Get back here! Gonna fuck you up. Ah! Oof! Ah! Oh yeah, that's right, bitch. Ghost and Willow owned you. Now stay down. Okay, you're right, Ghost. I do kind of feel bad too. But it was him or me. You know that. Kinda felt good too, though. I feel so angry right now. Felt good to let out some of that pent-up aggression. Still, though, 
poor Wolfie. Better just try to focus on something else. It's just getting depressing now. Think it must be this shitty weather. Oh, I can see some buildings up ahead in the distance. Must be getting close. There's one of those crystals. Hmm, wonder how easy that is to get over to. I mean, it doesn't seem too hard to get to. Could probably just walk up that conveniently placed fallen tree, right? Or I could just blip across here, maybe. Might be even easier. I'll just need to take care of our little friend here first. Stop mocking me, you little asshole. Ah, oh, shit! Ah, oh, this cheeky little bastard. Ow! I can't reach the little prick. What is this? A fucking boss fight? Running away from a mud crab. Officially a new low, even for me. Ghost, please deal with this shit. I'm fucking useless. Well, that worked, didn't it? Oh, yeah, fuck it up, ghost. Oh, shit. This thing is some kind of godlike mud crab or something. Ah, oh, fuck, that hurts. Ha, huh, ah. Oh. Finally, the mud crab god is defeated. Yeah, fuck you, mud crab god. I definitely need some more combat training. That was awful. Right then, let's try and get the crystal again, shall we? Let's try this way instead. Hopefully nothing dangerous in the water. Um, okay. I'm pretty sure this tree is broken. Oh! For the love of Talos! What the hell is going on? It really shouldn't be this hard. One last try and then I'm just going to quit. This is insane. I'm stuck. Just fucking perfect. Where the fuck am I off to now? Oh! Oh! Really? This is driving me crazy. It feels like there might be some kind of dark force in play here, trying to prevent me from reaching the crystal. Absolutely nothing to do with my parkour skills. Absolutely not. Ugh, one last go. I need to do this for Mother. I need to know more about the spirit guardian she summoned. Come on, Willow. Bugger me, I'm bloody tired. Parkour. Oh, fuck. Wow, that was close. Phew. Talos, be praised made it to the other side. Give me a break. Really? Come at me, bro. Ah! Oh! Huh. Yeah! Didn't know I could do that. That was frigging awesome, spinning in the air like that. I'm such a badass. He fucking got me, though. What a prick. Please stop it, ghost. You're giving me PTSD. I've had enough of wolves. No offence. Basic healing spell should do the trick. Ha! Huh, much better. Right. Hopefully no more interruptions.
every fucking time I hear ghost now. Immediately think I am about to be jumped by some wolf. Where is the crystal? Oh, down there. Seriously? Nice job, Ghost. You beat him on your own very nice. And there he goes. Bye, Ghost. I hope that dream was as real as it felt. Mother is trying to guide me. I have to get to that crystal! Whoa! Made it! Finally! These things really are pretty. So beautiful. Here goes nothing then, I guess. Hello? Isn't something supposed to be happening? Mr. Spirit Guardian Man, where are you? Humph. <clears throat> so, you feel like talking to me now, do you? Maybe I don't feel like talking to you. You really hurt my feelings. So rude. Come on, give me a break. It's a lot to take in. Hearing a random voice inside your own skull. It's a bit of a shock, you know. Look, let's start over, please. I didn't know Mother had sent you. Hmm, I guess I can forgive you. Why did she send you? What purpose did she give you? I am to advise and guide you, help keep you on the right path. Guide me? Right path? I am capable of making my own decisions, you know. As I said before, I'm only here to help you. What you decide to do is ultimately your own choice. I'm simply here to offer guidance on behalf of your mother. Mother, sorry, I appreciate the help. I didn't mean to offend. Don't worry, Ow! fresh start, remember? Look, I can't communicate with you for long right now. You need to find more of those crystals. Until our bond strengthens, I will only reach out to you in dire circumstances. We need to conserve the crystal's energy. Understood. I will find more of them, I promise. So, do you like have any special powers besides being my personal life coach? You know, like, I don't know, make that loot go hard and fast into Sven's arse. Um, hello? Need to conserve energy, Willow. Speak to you soon. I will be watching. Now get to Whiterun. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. Forgot about the conserve energy bit. Onward to White Run. I must be getting real close now. It's so beautiful around here. White Run, that way. These signs are pretty hard to read. They really ought to do something about that. Ivar's dead, Rift and Dawnstar. Hopefully I get to see all these places at some point. Whiterun should be up this way. Still so many questions about the Spirit Guardian. I guess I just have to be patient and find more of those crystals. Oh, what a welcome. Hanging people up at the side of the road, that's pretty fucked up. Wonder what the poor bastard did. If you ignore the dangling body, it's actually very nice around here. Honningbrew Meadery. I've always liked their mead. Didn't know the meadery was here near Whiterun, that's cool. Could probably do with sorting out their sign, though. That's just bad advertisement. Can barely read it. Ha! 
Oh dear, this poor soul has been put in a cage. What is it with Skyrim wanting to display this sort of thing? What kind of message are they trying to send to tourists? Welcome to Skyrim. Now let's hang you from a cage until you turn to just bone. So fucked up. Trying to work out how long ago my father would have lived here in Whiterun. Let's see. I know he told me before that he left Whiterun to join the Great War. So it must have been what, at least 25 years ago? Chances of someone remembering him is probably going to be pretty slim. All my relatives in Whiterun at the time joined the Great War. Can't remember him ever telling me any of them made it out alive, unfortunately. I'll just need to cross my fingers and hope for the best. Geez, even more hanging bodies. Whiterun is definitely trying to send a message of some kind and not the good kind either. Starting to get dark, I should really get a move on. Oh, another crystal! I'll make sure I come back for that tomorrow when there's more daylight. Just need to focus on getting inside Whiterun before it gets dark. Ah, Whiterun! Can't believe I made it at last! Hell of a journey, but hopefully I'll be safe here. Find some work, find someone that knew my father. No idea how far I've travelled, but I'm so relieved to have made it here. Good day, sir. Good day, miss. Need something? No, not really. Just wanted to say hello, that's all. I've come a long way, just made it to Whiterun. Sorry for bothering you. If only I'd had a horse, would have been here by in no time. Mirror, it's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Laureus farm. Fool had a coffin in a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> <laughs> they seem happy. Well, Wonder what like they are laughing like the about. I you know I shouldn't long, eavesdrop on people, but I can't help it. I'm such a nosy bitch sometimes. You sound like my ma. Figured I was lying dead in the field somewhere, is that it? Thought did cross my mind, yeah. War brewing, talk of a riot in Helgen. Have now jesters? Skyrim's gone mad, girl. You need to be careful out there. Careful, huh? Thanks, Skullvar. I'll remember that. <laughs> yeah, right. She should watch out for mud crab gods too. They ain't no joke. Rip your limbs clean off, they will. Khajiits. I haven't seen a Khajiit in forever. Mother always told me to stay away from them on account of their love for Skooma. Probably a bit racist now I come to think of it. I'm sure they can't all love Skooma. Well, this is all pretty impressive. Very intimidating. Better be careful crossing this. Don't fancy falling down there. Fancy looking gates, Whiterun seems pretty impressive so far, and I haven't even made it into the city yet. Father's hometown, can't believe I'm here. 
I hope all this wasn't for nothing. First things first, once I get inside. Find somewhere to stay for the night, have something to eat, get some rest. Then, tomorrow, go around the town and look for work, as well as hopefully find someone that knew father. It's a fine evening tonight, sir. If you say so. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs>